Hi, everybody. I, I've been coming here for many years, and at the beginning of this uh, convention, when I first started coming, it was kind of like this weird, wicked stepchild of the entertainment industry. But in the intervening years, the movies that you like, the movies that excite you, have become the most powerful, the most successful, and the best movies in the world. And it's a, it's a tribute to your voice, a tribute to what uh, you guys like and what you, uh, you believe in, and, and congratulations to all of them. Well, when we made those movies, which uh, over the last, I don't know, I get about nine years, uh, they did very well. They made about a billion dollars in worldwide revenue, those pictures, and we were really happy with the success, and so was Warner Brothers. So we decided to broaden out this label, Dark Castle, to do a lot of things. And uh, we, uh, we want to show you today some of the things we're doing. Uh, we, we created a, a, a a label that uh, primarily, one label is designed for direct-to-video movies that we really think niche movies that are scary, could be a little more violent than normal, and uh, sexy, and to do them right for video so we don't have to deal with some of the things we got to deal with in the theatrical world. So the, the first one we did last year, we did very well, it was called Return to House on Haunted Hill, which we came here to Comic-Con and we showed a, had a little panel about it. So. This year, um, the first picture that we're going to talk about now is the next directed video movie, which is called The Hills Run Red. And it's kind of, a, it's kind of an homage to the 80s slasher movies. And it's about fans who are searching for the, a lost horror movie. And they discover the movie is real and it's still shooting. And, uh, well, they become the newest victim. So let me show you now a little clip. We just finished showing this movie of The Hills Run Red. It's Eric Olson. Tad Hilgenberg and Dave Parker. Um, if anyone has any questions, now would be a good time to line up, but in the meantime, if you guys would like to talk a little bit about how the film came about, and tell us a little bit about the Hills Run Red. We had an idea for a comic book that we have called The Ferryman, and it's uh, created as a partnership between Dark Castle and Wild Storm, which is a, a DC label. And it's, it's based on the idea of the ferryman who, from Greek mythology, uh, would bring souls across the River Styx to the underworld. And it was uh, uh, given a modern twist by writer Mark and Draco, who wrote Torso and Manhunter. And it was illustrated by Jonathan Weisha. And he kind of came to the world of advertising art. Now we, this is gonna be coming out very soon. Again, our first Star Castle comic. And what I did is we made a little trailer to show you about what that's gonna look like. So let me show you the little trailer on Ferriman. <laughs> Paul H. Would you please welcome again Eric Olson? Mark Andreco, the writer, and Jonathan Wayshack, the artist. You know, I think that this may be the first time that a film company has actually been the imprint of a comic book company. Can you talk a little bit about the, how that came about, Joel, and what? We always, you know, we've always been interested in comic books and, the, and what, what stories that come from them, and, and I thought when we created Dark Castle to be a little bigger than... When it started, it was just primarily a horror label, but we wanted to, we, we raised some money.